Solving a 3x3 three three is way easier than you think. You solve the white side, the F2L, the yellow cross, the yellow side, and then the last layer. Today I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's scramble the cube up. The white center you're going to hold on the bottom. You're going to look for white edges. So this is a white and orange edge. This is a white and green edge already in place. We need to put this white and orange edge right there next to its center. So we can do that by flipping the cube, doing U prime, and then F2. Now we've solved that. Now we see that this white and blue one needs to go right there. So we're going to insert that like this. U, L, F prime, L prime. So that inserted that blue edge. And then we see this red edge right there. So we're going to take it out with R, U, R prime and then insert it just like the blue one. So U, L, F prime, L prime. And now we have solved the white cross. Now we're going to move on to the corners. So find white corners, like the white, blue, and orange one, and that needs to go right there. So we're going to put that into its cor corresponding spot by moving it out, putting it back in with R, U, R prime. And then that solves that corner. Now there's another white corner right here. This time it's white, blue, and red. And that needs to go right there. So we're going to insert that with R, U prime, R prime. Now we have those two inserted. Now we have another one right here that we need to insert. R, U, R prime. And then this back one, let's align that with U2 and then R, U, R prime. If you have a corner like this on the top, then what you can do to fix that is R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime. And that fixes it into there. We have now solved the white face with the layers. Make sure the centers are lined up because you don't want it like that. On the next step, this is called first two layers, or F2L. So we have to find edges that will match these centers. So we don't want to find a edge like this one because the yellow is on top. Right now we're going to focus on the middle layer. So we see this one right there, and then we're going to line it up so it's an upside down T, and then we're going to execute this algorithm. This is going from right side to left side, and this algorithm goes like this. U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime. And that inserts that edge into there. Now let's find a different edge. How about this one? We notice that this green and red one needs to go right there, so we're going to align it with an upside down T and do that exact same algorithm. U prime, L prime, U, L, U, F, U prime, F prime and that inserts that these two edges need to be swapped. So we're going to get it out using that exact same algorithm. Let's execute that. So as you can see, this edge came out, and now we can match it up with this and as an upside down T. But we don't insert it there, we insert it here. And this is a different algorithm. This is left to right. So it's basically the exact same algorithm, but opposite. So U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. That inserts that right there, and it also takes out this. Now we're going to do that same algorithm again. U, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F. And that inserts that edge and does the whole first two layer. Now you know how to do the first two layers. So the next step is to solve the yellow cross. This is the first case. So we have ignore these two corners. You're just focusing on edges. So we have a center right there and then sort of like an L like that. So we're going to hold it in the bottom right hand corner and do this. Now this is a weird move because instead of doing B, we're doing F wide and that it changes which center. So we got to do F wide, R, U, R prime, U prime, then F wide prime. And then that solves the cross. The other case is when you have a line cross. So we're going to hold it like this, straight, and we're going to do that same algorithm, but without the double wide F moves. So F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And then that solves the cross. This is the third and final case. So this is where there's a dot in the middle 
and there's no other edges facing up. And we're going to do those two algorithms combined. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, and then we're going to do double wide F, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, and that solves the cross. So that is how you solve the cross on the yellow side. And now we have to solve the yellow side of the yellow side. And these, this has one algorithm, but some rotation, so you have to know. Um, this is one of the cases where there's a, two corners there, a corner there, and then a corner there. So we're going to do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Obviously, that doesn't solve the side, and so this is the second case. This is when there's a cross like that, and then a corner right there, and a corner right there. So you know that this will solve the yellow face on this algorithm. Um, so let's execute that algorithm again. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. This is another case. It's similar to the other case, but we have four corners facing each way. So this one, we're going to hold like this, so they're on the sides, and execute that algorithm. And now it goes to this. And then we do that algorithm, and there, yellow side. This is another case where there's a, a full block there, and then one edge there, and then two corners facing that way. You're going to hold it like this for this time. And that brings it to this case, which we know we hold like that. And then to this case. Perfect. This is one more case where there's a whole, like, weird shape here with corners facing each way. So we're going to hold it like this. So there's a corner facing that way and a corner facing that way. And we're, we're going to do this algorithm. This is the final case where we're going to hold it like this and do it. And then with this one. And then with this one. And then you solve the side. So now we're going to do the final and last step of solving the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. So um, right now we're going to get the, try to get the corner solved. So if you have headlights like this, you're going to hold those at the back and do this algorithm. R prime, F, R prime, B2, R, F prime, R prime, B2, R2. So for this case, we're going to do we're going to do this. R2, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, U prime, R prime, U, R prime, and then that will solve a side. If it's like this, where you have to swap these two and these two instead of like this, then you're going to that same algorithm that I just showed, and that'll solve a side. Once you have solved a side, um, you're going to hold that in the back. And that will solve the Rubik's Cube. If it's like this, where this edge needs to go over there, this goes there, and then this goes there, then you're going to do this algorithm. and there's your solved Rubik's Cube. If you come across a case like this one where you have no headlights and no side, then you're going to do this algorithm, so let's do it. There we go, headlights. So that is how you solve the Rubik's Cube beginner method. You can um, slow down the video or you can go back in the video to uh, learn the algorithms. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.